Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I noticed there is a Reno sale here for the Reno Air Races packages. I had gotten the full package, the $60 one, way back close to when it was released a little bit after so that I could see some reviews. And uh, for me that was probably for the best. I was mainly interested in flying the planes in free flight. And so the variations between the planes were of interest, uh, you know, because each of the types, the P-51, the Albatross and so on, uh, each of the planes within it, the 10 planes that you get in the full package, are subtly different. So I wanted to see those and fly them around in free flight, and so it was worth it for me. Uh, but I have never done the actual air race uh, so far in all this time. So I am now going to take the plunge and show you what that's all about. And, you know, uh, presumably they've uh, fixed things uh, insofar as they needed to be fixed and so forth. So we'll see. So there's a few different courses here. There are different tracks, one for biplanes, one for the T6 and one for the uh, P-51 as well as the Albatross. And I do like the Albatross, it's nice and fast. And then there's some racing modes. Quick match, time trial. I think I'll probably stick to time trial here. So it says here, in the quick match, the performance and flight model of all competing aircraft is standardized to ensure a balanced competition between racers. We'll see if I can try that too. In this race mode, each aircraft has distinctive performance and flight model that I'm most interested in. And this one, the private match, of course, we're not going to do. Okay, so must remain outside the course pylons and below 250 feet. Biplane class uh, starts on the runway. The other classes start airborne. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I didn't catch it, but I don't think there are engine failures in this mode. Unlike in free flight. Okay, well, let's try a time trial first. That's probably safest. Okay, unlimited. Well, let's also go somewhat safer and go with the T6 first. And let's just go in order so that I can keep things sorted out. Let's just uh, go with this one first. Well, it's taking some time to load. Let's see what it has under options. Oh, just the normal options. Well, here it has show settings here. Maybe I don't need the best times to load up, though I would have liked to see them. Oh well, let me see if I can just hit ready to fly. Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm up against, but let's see. Okay. Alright, pylons. Okay. Okay. Well, I tested that notion. Oh, okay. I always go too high during the turn. Ooh. Eek. Okay, fifth, and we're on the final leg. The markers are very, very clear, obviously. The T6 flies very smoothly. It doesn't lose much speed during the turn anyway, and I'm at full throttle. Uh, I don't know if that 
lab is good or not because the times weren't posted. On the second lap, I tuned down the mixture and propeller pitch a bit. But I got the same, so I don't think that's made any difference at all. So, yeah, no, I, I don't want to keep going. I don't think the time trials will get me a, uh, a better score or anything. Undecided. Six cat. Time tested speed machine. Well, it's very vague. Let's see more info. Shows the cockpit. First place at 251 miles an hour. Max speed 204. Okay. Can we change how much fuel we're carrying? That would be interesting. So this one I just flew. It only had 184. Well, I was feeling that. Uh, it seems like the first one is the lone one out as far as being slow. All the others have the same 204. Oh, there's this other 184 one at the end. So all the middle ones are fine. Uh, let's see. Gunslinger is interesting. But the 6 cat looks good. Let's try this one. So we'll try something that can go 204 knots. It'll never load our best times though. It might be clogged up because it can't decide which ones are best because they're all like within a thousandth of a second with each other. <laughs> Considering, I don't think there's gotta be too much variation unless I'm mistaken. shadowy in here. Took that one way wide. Well, 122 with the higher powered ones. Let me do just one more lap. They need to find a way to implement a proper cross country race. Like the old time races. It'll be like one of the challenges instead of a race in the Reno Air Races segment. You set your time. Yeah, I mean, it won't be all at the same time, but everybody will be setting their own times as a challenge. And it'll have a leaderboard. Well, 121, but I don't think... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna assume that I can do too much better. Alright, let's see about the actual race. I don't know if there's anybody playing it, but... Uh, because it's on sale and people will be trying it out, it might be a good time to get people's. Okay, multiplayer quick match. We'll go with the T6, and then we'll uh, double back and try the P51s and the Albatross. Unable to find a match, please try again later. Well, that's not good. It actually said that. Hmm. All right. Let's maybe maybe the T sixes are not so interesting to people. Let's try the P fifty ones. Surely we can get a match like that. Even though I haven't practiced with the P fifty one yet. Let's make sure we get one. I mean, the performance is gonna be equal, but in principle, four seventeen. Wow. one's 417. 
I mean, some people are just getting the Reno Air Race thing, so... As far as matchmaking is concerned, this is probably the best time. It's not a bad time of day either. Wow, this Miss Virginia only does three... Well, because it's a P-51A. So if the T6 is... Oops. The T6s, they were basically two speeds. With the P51 slash F51s, uh, there are apparently three speeds. With 417 being the best. And I'll pick this red and white one. Well, it's unable to find a match. Okay, Albatross. Come on. 400 for this one. 405. I mean, in a pinch, they should just toss in some bots. I mean, in a pinch, right? 430 knots for that one. Four forty for the Red Thunder. Four fifty five. Wait. There's a lot of different speeds for these. Athena's four twenty seven. Four fifty American Spirit. Four oh five. I think four fifty was the best that I saw. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll go with this one. I mean, of course, it makes no difference in this mode. It really won't make any difference in this mode if we can't find a match. Maybe everybody does private. Okay, well, I can't get a match, but I'm sure going to do a time trial with the P-51 and the Albatross. I want to see how fast that American Spirit, the fastest Albatross, can go in the time trial. So, let's go with that. Oh, um, we have a thing here with times. I don't know what it means by my position. Oh, oh, now that, now we've got more times. But isn't this like the reverse of what I want? Why is this chili gribble at the top when it looks like that one has the worst out of these? Guys, um, I don't understand, but okay. We, well, we have a time to beat. We have a time to beat. Okay, where are the gates? Oh, there they are. Oh, fudge. Oh, this is much harder. Okay, just needed to get a feel for it after the T6. Your line's too high. Get back down to race altitude. Your line's too high. Get back down to race altitude. Your line's too high. Get back down to race altitude. Ah, I passed out. Okay, that wasn't a good start. Hmm, I just had the... You're too high. If you continue like oh, I'm, I'm ways away from everything else. I guess, I guess I survived though. Oh, but I'm not gonna survive that. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Maybe I should go slower. I, I'm at full throttle. Six laps. It's six laps. Okay. Well, I can definitely see how people might be better than each other in this one. The T6 one, I just didn't quite feel that there was a good way to optimize over other people. Well, over a minute is definitely not good. Uh, 
Alright, better this time. Okay, okay. I think I've got a feel for this one now. Alright, uh, so I've got to start over so that we can get a good set of six times. There isn't much point to throwing down after all. Okay, coming in, final turn. Lap one. Check your altitude. Get back down now. Oh, ow. Okay, no, no, no back on track. That's cheating. I wonder if in the private matches you can set that as a rule. They give you plenty of time to get back down. Well, that's not great, not compared to the people who uh, are on the leaderboard. Okay, better that time, but still not good enough to beat anybody. sort of slow. And this is the best plane by far, so... As far as I can tell, just by the top speed, though. Maybe there are other qualities. You know, maneuverability. This is the drag racer of them. But then this is not the most twisty, windy f one -y circuit. You know. So unless you have a private group of people who can do a private match. I don't know about the actual head-to-head -head stuff in here. It's not that I went up. The ground went down. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Keep it steady, you got this. Check your altitude. Get back down now. Ooh, don't get back down too fast.
Okay, coming in, final bit. And done. 545 it looked like. 545. There's just uh, details of each lap. Hit 400 knots. That's good. And, uh... Oh, now the tr um, Chili Gribble is uh, 527. So, my position, I am at 899. So, I've got some improvement to do. Apparently, Pipsqueak does well. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of these top ones have Pipsqueak instead of Red Thunder. So maybe we should try Pipsqueak. Okay, but I want to try the P51 to finish it off. Okay, no. Well, Striga was fast. That doesn't mean it's best. I don't know about my position. World top. Chili Gribble is still on the world top here. But it says Time Trial Jet. It's so confused. It's still showing the jet instead of the unlimited. It'd be much more interesting if, you know, the engines could fail. I mean, I'm just keeping at full throttle right now. So I don't even know what times people posted on this one, so I don't know what I'm trying to beat. Yeah, engine management really would add a lot more of a dimension to this, otherwise it's just... It's not quite as entertaining. The planes are sort of too well tuned for this purpose. It'd be much more interesting if, like, the planes were not meant for this and they were a little bit less steady. These are very stiff. It's very easy to maneuver them. In earlier flight sims, I, I remember, I think it was FSX that had air racing. And I remember that being a whole lot harder simply because of the low frame rate. It was difficult to figure out what the heck was going on and react properly. There's eight laps. Yeah, and I have no idea what time I'm supposed to be going for here. I might be flying too lax. Okay, last little bit here. Oop, don't go on the opposite side. Alright. Check my altitude. <laughs> Too late for that now. Uh, 8.08, best lap one minute. Uh, apparently I'm 9.39, so I'm relatively consistent in my placement. Best was 7 minutes and uh, 19 seconds in the Voodoo. 
Strega, the one I was flying, is uh, also a major option here. Eight oh eight is really slow compared to them. With the albatross, I was doing much better, but I didn't know what I was supposed to be aiming for. I don't know. I don't know how uh, these top few times are so much faster than these, right? Normally, you'd expect them to be a little bit more compacted, but these are. That's a substantial time. Like somebody's figured out something, right? Oh uh, well. Anyway, so that's where we're at. That could do with some improvement, apparently. I mean, not so much with these uh, 747 times. That's... I mean, I'm about 20 seconds off from that. But trying to get an extra 20 seconds out of this... Well, I mean, you're talking about two and a half seconds on each lap. I guess it's doable. But, alright. So, that is what we did there. And it's a shame we couldn't do the actual races and I think they need to figure something out about that yep but I don't know what to do about it so anyway that has been the Reno Air Race mode and I mainly just am interested in flying these things in free flight myself I have an idea of maybe flying the various types of P-51 across the country in a series of legs would be interesting but anyway that's it for now with that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time